So start talking, Kane. Huh. Kane. Yes, I suppose that is my name, isn't it? We pretty much cleared out the joint. All these other wolves should be gone gone. I assume the huntsman is back at his house. Let me save real quick, just in case. I think I got all the endings, I can't remember. D, C, B. We need an ending A. I cleared out all the, the wolves, right? I wonder what happens if you beat the game without killing any of the wolves. Except for the huntsman. I gotta, I gotta go back to the village first before I go to this house. The huntsman. Oh, okay, so you won't let me do it. Let me go and do my thing. Save the forest for both wolves and humans alike. Let's do this. Huntsman? Lenora? Where'd you run off to? Lucky your mother wasn't around, or she would have bitten off my head. D don't play dumb with me, Huntsman! I talked to your brother, Avel. I know what you are. My brother? What I am? I don't know what you're talking about, Lil Calamant. But I don't have a brother. I'm just a lonely hunter who likes tanning wolf hides. And, if you may remember, keeping your village safe. Huntsman! The Alpha Wolf told me everything. Stop making a fool of yourself and admit you're not who you say you are. This is rich, little Lenora. You have quite the imagination. Now, stop all of this nonsense and come to your senses. Haven't you ever heard that wolves are cunning? Not as much as foxes, of course, but... Suffice to say, a wild animal will do anything to save its hide. That wolf knows you're a knave little girl. It lied right to your face. This is part of why I told you to stay behind. You must never trust the words of a wolf. Then... Then why was it still alive? You said you were going to end that this once and for all. Why did you let the poor thing live? Lenora, it hurt me just as much as I hurt it. I'm simply resting until I can go back and finish the job. Huntsman, you don't have a scratch on you. Do you honestly expect me to believe... Listen, little girl, I won't hear any more crazy talk from you. This was a this was cute at first, but it's gotten upsetting. Let's focus on the positive, okay? There are a lot of wolves out tonight, so you should stay here for the time being. I'll even cook you a hot breakfast in the morning. Just sit and calm down. Wolves can be scary, I know, but you're safe with me, so just relax. Huntsman, I'm not... I'm going to the back room to freshen up, all right? Sit by the fire and I'll be back before you know it. Tomorrow, I'll get rid of that mangy wolf for good. Well, what should I do now? Aw, oh, man! <sighs> let's see what happens if- well, we're gonna die. We're gonna die if we trust him, so let's trust him. He's right. He has to be. The Huntsman has always helped the village. Help me. How could he be- some kind of ridiculous beast. That wolf tried to lie to me. And I was almost stupid enough to fall in its trap. Oh, we got an ending. Oh, the, Lenora decided that Avel the wolf, Alpha Wolf must have been lying and stayed in the Huntsman's cabin for the night. As everyone had told her, wolves truly would do anything to save their hides. And that included the cunning trickery the Alpha Wolf had tried to pull on her. As he had promised, the Huntsman left to kill Avel the following day. And after a few long hours, he arrived on the cabin's doorstep, the wolf's head in his hands. He and Lenora returned to Pokeweed Hollow, and the Huntsman paraded the wolf's head around for all to see. 
With Lenora's promising aptitude for hunting, she became the Huntsman's Apprentice. Over the next few years, the two of them hunted the rest of the wolves until they were wiped out. With the village safe, now that the wolves were dead, the Huntsman convinced Lenora to travel with him and visit other villages that had suffered from wolf attacks. Getting paid! The two of them became well known for their hunting, and as the years went by, they continued to hunt all of the wolves in the land until none were left at all. People soon began to ask them to cure the villages of bears, wild boars, and even foxes preying on hens. And as long as the pay was good, the huntsman happily obliged. She looks so bored. As successful and prosperous as her new life was, Lenora still couldn't help but think about the Alpha Wolf's words from that fateful night many years ago. As evil as the beast had been, something about it, its final words tugged at her heart. But it had just been a trick, right? It had just been a pathetic attempt to avoid his fate, right? She just knew she had made the right choice, hadn't she? Apprentice. He's smiling kind of shadily. We we got the bad end. Ending A. Return to the title screen. We're gonna load that up. I should have saved right out there, but it's too late. Let me go kill this guy. Go after him. Something still isn't right. I won't let him walk away from this. Oh my god. There's mutilated wolf corpses everywhere. Lenora. Huntsman? You really shouldn't be back here, my girl. It shows the ugly side of hunting. Nothing fit for a little girl like you to see. Can you stop acting like I'm a child? This wolf situation is serious and I need answers from you right now, Huntsman. Little Lenora. This is ridiculous. Do you want me to tell your mother how troublesome you're being? Why won't you listen to me? The Alpha Wolf said... The Alpha Wolf will be dead tomorrow. It doesn't matter what he said. Now turn back around and leave this room this instant. I'm not leaving until you take me seriously and answer me. So start talking, Kane. <laughs> Kane. Yes, I suppose that is my name, isn't it? Jew. Listen, little girl. I kill those wolves because they are better off dead. Evelyn and I fought over control of the pack for years upon years. I decided I would end it by killing them all instead. Hiding as a human hunter makes executing them so much easier, you see. Granting a lot of power to one who deserves it, I might add. Plus, isn't it a service to you? If I hunt down all those wolves, your village will be safe or something. Those wolves are attacking the people I love right now because of you! They never attacked us before you started hunting them. That is true. But, what if I told you I don't actually care? You humans are just as stupid as my old pack. I might as well kill you all too. You'll all be less of a headache. That's for certain. What? What about the village? You helped protect us! After all these years, how could you turn on us like that? Must there always be some deep dark reason to do the things that I do? I said it before and I'll say it again. I don't care about your little hovel you call a village or the people in it. I never have. Plus, I might as well admit it to you. I'm the one who killed the Baron's wife. And then I killed one of the pack and brought him the pelt so he could trust me. I've been stalking the Hall's villagers ever since. <laughs> it's fun. And in fact, I actually planned on killing the rest of you anyway once I was done with my idiot brother and his pack of mongrels. So I hope you told your family goodbye, because you're going to be the second person I've killed from this stupid village. Bring it on, buddy! The hunt is on. 
Look at that badass axe I got in my hand. She's just like, like waving to him. She's like, get over here. We're doing this. Yo, yeah, Lenora. You're a pretty impressive huntress. You've already done a lot of my work for me. I even considered letting you in on my plan once I killed my brother. Oh well. You're not that special anyway. I'll make sure to haul your corpse to town when I'm through with you. Your mother should see her girl one last time before she dies. Hunt. Let me see here. We got... Ooh, lichen small. Tears the flesh like the fangs of a wolf. Do it! Get you some. Ow. Oh, my, my little axe is laughing as well? <laughs> How about another one of them? Me. Inspect you. Huntsman Kane, final boss. Murderer of the wolves. He's gone. He's gonna slice me to bloody shreds if I don't kill him right now. Kill him! Kill him! Behead the wolf. There's no way I can kill him with that. Oh, it's because it's so the attack. He's not hitting me. Is there a reason why you're not? Oh, I did the wrong thing. Uh, sarsaparilla cream. Why is it not attacking me? Like it was blown. Such a foolish girl, Lenora. Do you really think you'll live through this? I'll rip your body to shreds. Big dog! Oh. You want some of this? Oh, crap. Give me the sarsaparilla cream. Give me another sarsaparilla cream. You're dead meat. Don't fuck with me. The fucking huntress, buddy. A little tender hit. Followed by a Lycan's Maw. I don't know how much HP I'm doing against you. Let me inspect you real quick, actually. Kane. Actual final boss. 200 HP. He's gonna come. He's gone completely insane. All I can do now is. Kill him. Can I. Can I actually behead the wolf on you? There's no way I can kill him with that. Okay. Uh-oh. We need some sarsaparilla. We need another sarsaparilla. We need another sarsaparilla. And we need... Ugh. No, 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 no! We need to wildberry parfait that up. And maybe do another one just to top us up. And now we kill it. Don't laugh at me. Like it's small. Get you some. How about another? And just a little attack. No. Ow. Oh, you missed. Good. Need more sarsaparilla cream. Give me the power to overcome this bastard. No, 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 no. Oh. I almost fucked up. Lycan's Maw up in this. I'm gonna keep your health above a certain point just because I don't trust him. Yeah. He does the hard hits. Missed. Do it! Do it, uh, no? Do it, no. How's it using so much PP, man? Sarsaparilla cream. Sarsaparilla cream. That's fine. Uh, sarsaparilla cream. And... Wildberry, perfect. Now... Uh, like it's mom. 
Lycan's Maw again. Gotcha! <sighs> the hunt was successful. He dead dead. Lenore stood above Kane's corpse, her axe slathered in his blood. He really was gone. I give you back your cool ass axe. She returned to Avil and gave the axe back to him, her job done. Grateful, he called off his pack and promised he wouldn't let them rampage through the forest ever again. Lenore and Avel soon returned to Pokeweed Hollow together, and the two of them told the villagers the truth about Cain and the attacks. While Avel's strange appearance had caused distrust and scared the villagers at first, Lenore convinced them that he wasn't a threat. They soon forgave him and his pack for the attacks. Mama! With the whole village breathing a sigh of relief, peace returned to the hall once more. Hunters! Lenore's prowess at hunting inspired Miss Stonecrop to begin hunting anew, and with Avel's help, the three of them protected the village and the forest together. With Lenore's bravery, Avel's brute strength, and Miss Stonecrop's wisdom and experience, Pokeweed Hollow is soon the safest village in the countryside. As the years went by, Lenore found a true friend in Devel, the Alpha Wolf. They remained close for years to come and established a bond between humans and wolves that triumphed over the test of time. Ending S, Huntress. Damn right! What happens if I press C? Oh! We got the credits! Produced by Bleat. Made with RPG Maker 2003. Music, Lee Roser, Free Music Archive. Nathan Story, SoundCloud. All tracks found via freemusicarchive.org. Sound effects, freesound.org. I've used that site before. Bleat Dev. RPGMaker.net, Pixiv.me. Thank you for playing. Thank you! Oh, bonus room? What? Oh, it's like a, <laughs> like a mini dev room. Hey, everybody. What's up? It's your, it's your girl, Lenora. What's up? Theodosa Sweetspire, 42, self-centered, quick to judge. Theodosa comes from a long line of doctors and resents it greatly. She may get annoyed easily at the other villagers, but she does take her rule very seriously. Albert Bladdernut, 32, gossips, indecisive. Albert is the village butcher and taxidermist, and is very proud of it. He gossips about everyone in the village all the time, but is oblivious to the fact that he's not very sneaky at all. The Huntsman, Kane. Age, nobody fucking knows. Lackadaisical, pompous. The Huntsman is the only man brave enough to live deep in the woods. After coming to Pokeweed, he quickly became a household name. He even helped Lil Nora recover from a nasty, nasty wasp sting. Avel. Sarcastic, vindictive. Avel grew up alongside Kane and became Alpha of the pack. He has no qualm with killing his brother if need be. Though, deep inside, he can't bring himself to do it with his own hands. Kane. Kane. Self-aggrandizing. Uncontrollable temper. Ever since Kane was a pup, he wished he could wield the same power humans could. His desire was so great it warped his mind, and he began killing his family to try to become what he coveted. What this? Oh! Welcome to the art gallery. Oh, it's showing me everything. This is all the stuff we see saw before, right? 
We we already know this. Characters. Oh, we got the endings! Hold up, hold up. So... Ending E. Yeah, we got this one. Ending D. I didn't get this one! Oh, wait! Do you get it when Kane kills you? Oh man! I need to get the cane ending. What? I missed out! Okay. What else we got here? Esther Lopseed. Scares easily, hates loud noises. Esther keeps about four rabbits as pets, and her favorite is named Boppet. The farthest she's ever left the village is the edge of Button Bush Woods. Like her rabbits, she's very scared of wolves. Joshua Matter, 19. Paranoid, afraid of animals. Joshua actually prefers the nighttime when everyone is asleep. He's considered the town eccentric, but he really just prefers to be alone. He envies Grandma Calman's sweet real estate. Dash, none. Dash is half wolf, and though he's a young puppy, he is a loyal guard dog of all the villagers. His favorite thing to do is zip around town so everyone gets a chance to pet him. Lulu Bell Dogwood. Spacey tracks mud everywhere. Lulu Bell. <laughs> Lulu Bell owns the village, but Dash. And loves being outdoors more than anything else. She truly believes harmony can exist between animals and humans. Baron Benjamin Bearberry. 54. Scatterbrained and patient. Back when his wife Abigail was alive, Bearberry would let her pretty much run the village. Without her, he tries his best to be even keel with all of the villagers, but loses control a lot. Lenora Calment. It's me! Teen during game, adult in certain endings. Knave. Struggles with confidence. Lenora must grow up fast if she wants to save the village, and that means taking on the world and learning right from wrong. Miss Stonecrop is her idol and mentor. Miss Stonecrop is very badass. Patience, Calamant. 36. Too trusting, always late. Patience, while concerned for Lenora's safety, knows that she mustn't coddle her child forever. Josephine Crop, Josephine Stonecrop is her closest friend and sole confidant. They're practically sisters. Grandma! Eleanor Calamant. Independent to a fault. A little cuckoo. Grandma Calment was an adventurer as a young woman, and often charged headfirst into dangerous situations. While she is wise, she's crazy enough to give her granddaughter an axe without question. I'm saying. Josephine Stonecrop. Hot-tempered, reckless. Josephine is Lenora's godmother. She was a huntress when she was younger, but begrudgingly gave it up when the huntsman came to pokeweed. She does enjoy smithing, but misses the outdoors. Car Carls? Carls Cohosh, 38. Very brash. Penny pincher. Oh, Charles is one of the few people who regularly leaves the village to trade. He is a fair merchant and is well liked, but he's too cheap to hire a mercenary whenever he travels. We, we talked to everybody. Okay. Now, now, what? Oh, we're in the bonus room. Let's save here. I got I got to go. I got to go. And this is just the music thing, right? Yeah. The music in the game is pretty good. We quit. Let me see if I can get that other ending. The hunt ended in tragedy. Okay. Alright! Uh, this might be just a game over one. How do I get the other one? 
damn it! Oh no, we got it! Okay. Despite her best efforts, Kane overpowered Lenora, leaving her body slumped on his cabin floor. The monster lumbered off, axe in his clutches. Kane went on to kill his brother and soon wiped out all of the wolves in the forest. The villagers were not safe from his bloodthirsty maulings either. One by one, the villagers of Pokeweed Hollow were brutally cut down by the rampaging beast. No one was spared. Left alone to do as he pleased, Kane's madness and blackened heart let him to rampage through the land. Many, many hunters rallied in an attempt to kill him, but he crushed them as he had Lenora. Soon, the entire countryside was littered with bones and shallow graves. Ending D, Kane. Alright, we're done. Uh, return to the title screen. Okay, we did it. Well... Thank you, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Let me know what you think. I enjoyed this. I love these small little RPG Maker games. I was just thinking about how much I've been enjoying these RPG Maker games. There's been a lot of good ones coming out lately. So, thank you all for joining me once again. I'll have a link in the description below to the game and the developer's deets. And I'll be back again with some more RPG Maker goodness.